Good morning on Friday. I thought I'd film a vlog video, which I don't often do. This is probably going to be a couple of days worth of vlog because I don't do enough in one day to warrant a vlog. So it's probably going to be like a weekend vlog, maybe. I look a mess. I have not long woke up. And I am... What am I doing today? I'm going to film a haul video so i'm just about to do my makeup because as you can see my skin is not having the best time at the minute so i'm gonna try and cover that up a little bit and then i've got an ebay day today i have ignored ebay for a little while so i'm gonna deal with some ebay work today after i've done a haul video i'm gonna start listing some of that stuff and my husband's gonna photograph it so I'm going to vlog some of that today and then I'm just going to take you along for a couple of days. I'll just I'll just vlog the semi-interesting stuff. Um, it's not all going to be reselling because the amount of reselling I do has calmed down a little bit. Um, obviously, I do a lot of Etsy work now and I make a lot of jewellery now. So I'm going to include that in my vlog as well because I thought maybe I'll take you along with that take you along with that take you along with me for that um i now put a few shorts up like youtube shorts on making some jewelry but i haven't really included a lot of jewelry in my youtube because i didn't know whether people were really interested in it because obviously this is a reselling channel not a jewelry channel i do have a tiktok for my jewelry if you are interested in any in any jewelry content that'll be linked down below um but yeah, I thought I would do a vlog so that I can include everything. And I just never do vlogs and I really enjoy watching vlogs. So I just never really know how to film them. So yeah, I'm going to do a vlog. And um, first, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make myself look a little bit more presentable. But I thought I'd do the intro to this video of me looking like this because this is real life you know this is me first thing in the morning i have put my hair up because i didn't want to scare you too much but yeah this is me first thing in the morning so i'm gonna go and get myself ready look a little bit more presentable ready to film a whole video Look at this yummy breakfast that my husband went and treated me to from the market. These are so good. And look at that. Double chocolate brownie. Was it a double chocolate brownie? Triple, Triple chocolate brownie that I will scoff later on. I can't wait. But this, this is for now. dressed and my face is done my jewelry's on i feel like me um i have just set up ready to film see my rail of a uh, uh, clothing there it is ready to film a haul so that's what i'm going to do now in case you didn't see the whole video i'm going to quickly scan through and show you a few items uh there's a few things on there that are not worth showing you because they're from other ones uh we've got this pure collection dress that's an empty hanger because it's currently up there it is a laura ashley vintage coat uh this is thought a thought jumper what's this one uh i think they're marks and spencer's cords the light's washing them out a little bit this is a sainsbury's cords dress 
uh, I won't show you all of it because there will be a whole video up, but I'll just show you a few. What is that? I can't see that. I think it's White Company. It's just a jumper. This is amazing. I really like that. Like a vintage Elvis waistcoat. I think it's linen as well. Uh, Jaeger Boutique. Um, yeah, so we got a decent amount. I've got some Robel cords, which, you know, never had Robel cords before. So we'll see how those go. And then, yeah. But like I said, they will all be up in a haul video. So yeah, now I've got to get on with filming that haul video and then listing some of this stuff. I've got a few Etsy orders to go out. So I'll get those wrapped and then I might make some jewellery depending on what time I've got left. But it is an eBay day today. I really need to get some stuff listed on eBay, especially you've just seen a rail full of stuff that I've got. I need to get them dealt with. So I'm going to get this video filmed so that I can deal with all that stuff. Done. It is filmed. It is done. I now need a drink. <laughs> because there's so much talking. Um, but now I can get on with listing it. Which I really, really need to get on with doing. Because sales are awful at the minute, to be quite frank. Um, so yeah, I need to get my arse into gear and actually list some of it. And then I've got some, like I said, I've got some Etsy orders to get out. Um, we've got no eBay orders to go until Monday, so we're going to wait and hopefully get some more sales over the weekend, fingers crossed. But I'm going to go and make a cup of tea, because my throat is dry after all that talking. Oh, do you like my new choker that I made myself, by the way? I hope you can see it. It is moss agate, obsidian, and the little ones are hematite. I absolutely love it. I made this too. This was an odd earring. I'm reusing a lot of old broken jewellery as well as using crystals. I reuse broken jewellery and make it into something new that can be loved again. So this was an odd little earring and I fell in love with it. So I needed to make that into something for myself. And I've worn that every day since I made it like two weeks ago. I absolutely love it. And I wanted to make a choker to like complement it. Um, these are also made by me and so are these i am obsessed with making jewelry i found something that i absolutely love hence why ebay is uh getting put on the back burner because i can't stop making jewelry because i absolutely love it and um, what am i wearing today i'll quickly show you i have got this is garnet chips garnet is my birthstone so i wanted to use garnet to make myself something to wear this is like a daily one i'm gonna wear this all the time because it is my birthstone and uh, what else have we got we got this is kiwi jasper and then these wooden beads are recycled from an old bracelet. And then we've got Kambaba Jasper, which you can't really see very well at the minute, but it is like dark green and black. And then there's black beads that are also recycled from a massive brace, uh, massive necklace that I bought from the charity shop and then decided I wanted to take it apart and use the beads. And then these are Tiger's Eye. And I've got these in lots of different, lots of different materials. Um, shameless plug. If you do want to go and check out my jewellery that I make by myself, handmade, I will leave it linked in the description. Um, I also do custom orders if you would like anything in particular, any sort of material, any kind of design, then, you know, send me a message. I'll see what I can do. I love doing custom orders because I like seeing other people's ideas. I like them coming to life. I like seeing them come to life. But yeah, enough shameless self-plug-in. Let's continue with ebay work because that is what i am here to do today i am in desperate need of getting on with some ebay work but first a cup of tea Please ignore the mess. 
children, summer holidays. Oh, hello. Hello. So this is our photo area. Chris built this with a blanket. It's at the opposite end of the kitchen where we used to have the table, but we never really used it. So we have now got it set up for photos. And the pictures come out pretty good. But I don't do photos anymore. This guy does. And he does a very good job. Can I carry on now? Yeah, you can carry on now. So this is how we take photos. This is for clothing anyway. For any bigger items, they go in a big pop-up box that we have, big light box, but we don't tend to get that out very often unless we have a lot of hard goods to photograph because it's just a bit of a faff. It's a very good light box, but it's just a little bit of a faff. So we tend to only get that out when we really need to. And yes, we still have Christmas calendars. They stay up all year. I thought it was probably about time to do a eye update, a health update. Um, I haven't really done one because to be honest, I've not really had much to say. My camera's wobbling a little bit. I do apologize about that. I'll try and uh, keep it still. Um, I've not had any appointments for a while now. I did have one appointment though, which was quite a crucial one actually. Please ignore my flowers in the background. They look like they've seen better days. I think it's probably time to get rid of them. Um, I had an appointment from a, I think it's a charity called Vista. Um, Vista deal with um, like mobility aids um, and they help out basically anyone with sight loss they do what they can in forms of like helping helping you get about um i'm not 100 percent sure but for what they've done for me is to help me get about vista is your local charity um i'm not sure if everybody has one local to them but it's like it is your it's your local sight loss charity i believe it's a charity i may be wrong please don't quote me i am new to all this um but i had an appointment with a lady from vista who was very very nice um and she my appointment was for a cane um i've had a little cane now for probably about six months and it's just called an identification cane um it's basically one that i just hold to make other people aware that i have a vision impairment um so just give me a little bit more room otherwise i probably am going to bump into you but also I do use it for like tapping along the wall. Um, I've started using it to help me get about, which that is not what that cane is for. Um, that cane is just, like I said, an ID cane. So because I've started having to use it to help me get around, the dogs have got something to say about this, one second. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> because I've started using it to help me get about, um it is probably time to get a proper cane so i have had an appointment with a lady who has bought some canes to my house and i've already done lots of research on canes anyway and how to use them in different techniques um so she bought a couple to my house there's different ones there is a full length one that touches the floor um which has constant contact with the floor and then there is one that is still has the ball on the end of it like the typical white cane that you would think of but it doesn't quite touch the floor it's a bit shorter um we have both decided after a conversation that the one that would suit me is the the full length mobility cane um the one that has constant contact with the floor um because i if you are new to the channel i do have I am, I'm registered as severely sight impaired. Um, I have, sorry if you can hear that dog barking outside, but that is, I, that's out of my control. And my dogs are trying to talk to it. Um, 
yeah i'm registered severely sight impaired which is it's technically legally blind um i do have some usable vision left that is the central vision i have a little bit of central vision left in in my eyes um it is deteriorating though unfortunately it is getting worse i have noticed over the past few months that it is getting worse um, I have an appointment on the 2nd of September with Birmingham Hospital with the eye specialist so we will see how much it has deteriorated and if there's any action we need to take but at the minute there was nothing that they could do. Um, can you stop it please? Um, so yeah we've decided to go for a proper full length cane. Now the next step is to have training so that I can use this cane effectively and use it to the best of my advantage so on the 31st of august i will be going out for a good hour or two and i'll be being taught how to use this cane properly i am nervous but at the same time i'm excited because at the minute getting out by myself is really 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 difficult i find it really hard i get really nervous because I just can't see around me. My eyesight is like looking through straws and it is extremely dark and extremely light dependent. So when it's really bright outside, which obviously it's summer, it has been, I can barely see anything at all. So having this cane that is in constant contact with the floor is just gonna make me feel so much safer. I am very nervous. Stop it. No. I'm very nervous about having this constant visual almost like label for people i guess i worry a little bit too much about what people think and people are constantly going to look at me and think blind lady which i know shouldn't matter because this is going to really help me but there is still that little bit of stigma and there is still that worry that people are going to look at me and they're going to treat me different and I don't want to be treated any different because I'm still me. I'm still who I was like two years ago. I mean, obviously I've changed a little bit because, you know, brain damage and vision loss is going to do that to you. But, oh, sorry about that. I don't want to be treated like a disabled woman, which is, I am. I am a disabled woman, but I just want to be treated like Chloe. I don't want to be treated differently but yeah it's t it's a really hard pill to swallow but it's gonna help me and i need some of my independence back so i am doing it and hopefully it's gonna bring a lot more independence back to my life because at the minute i feel a bit like a prisoner and i have been struggling a little bit because i've not been getting out of the house i my mood has been awful i've not been looking after myself and i've just not been in a good place mentally and i'm hoping this will help because i need to get out of the house i need I, I need to be doing things by myself again because i don't do anything unless it's with somebody now and i can't live like that i, I really can't so yeah on the 31st of august i'm going out for a little cane a little cane date um and then if i decide that's the cane that i want if i decide it's good for me then i will have another three training sessions with the with this cane to make sure that i know exactly what i'm doing and then she'll get me one ordered and i'll have one and that'll be it so fingers crossed it goes well obviously i'll keep you posted and yeah I will keep you posted on my eye appointment on the 2nd of September as well. But I know I do get quite a lot of questions from people asking how I'm getting on, which I really appreciate. Like, that's so nice of you. I really do appreciate you asking. And I'm doing well. Health-wise, I'm doing well. Um, headaches have started to come back. But an eye pain has come back. And obviously, my vision is deteriorating a little bit. So I will talk to the specialist when I go and see them. And we'll see whether anything else is going on. I, I don't know. But they've not been awful headaches. They've just been there again. So other than that, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update. But now it's time to get some work done. Because it's like midday. 
and I need to get parcels sent out. I need to get listings done. My husband, as you've just seen, is in the living is in the kitchen, photographing away. So I need to start listing the items that he's photographed now. So on we go. I am just packing some orders up for Etsy, so I thought I'd quickly show you what is going out. One of these has gone out on Facebook because I do have a Facebook page as well. Um, and that's a custom order, so I will show you what I made and what is going out. Um, these little pouches are just little free gifts that I include in my orders. Um, they are just little mini, it's just like a little mini scoop of crystals. There's a few little, tum I don't know how well you can see them through the bag. Um, there's like a few little mini tumbles and chips in there. I just, I like to include a little free gift as like a thank you for ordering because I'm really grateful for every order. And I think this little free gift fits in quite nicely with the stuff that I sell because I sell crystal jewellery. So everybody has a little, and these are just random. I've got a big glass jar full of like random little crystal chips and tumbles so it's completely random you just get you get what you're given oh there's a little mini sphere in that one nice uh, you just get what you get and and that's that oh this one has a cube in it cute right so i'll quickly show you what is going out a little business card in each one design that myself uh, what's this one? Oh, first up is a little Oh, this one sold on Instagram, actually. I mean, technically it sold on Etsy, but this was my first Instagram-led sale. Um, they saw it on Instagram and asked if it was still available and then went and purchased it on my Etsy, and I was really happy about that. This is a honey calcite mushroom. I absolutely love these mushrooms. Um, I've got them in loads of different materials, and they're actually one of my best sellers, to be fair. So that is off to its new home um what i'll do is i'll bag these all up like this and then i will wrap them as well in some tissue paper and then they all go into a green if you can see that like a green blue mailer and they're going they get a um, tissue wrapped as well and uh, this is the next order We've got some blue chalcedony earrings. They're quite nice. I made those quite a while ago. And then a ruby zoocyte bracelet. And then this one is tiger's eye made with recycled black beads. Actually the same beads that are on that one that I'm wearing today same black beads from the same necklace um that tiger's eye one is a free gift because um this lady is actually one of my best friends and this is probably like her sixth order she's made with me so i've given her a freebie just because she orders from me so often like isn't it so nice when your friends support you it's it just makes you feel like you can do it <laughs> it makes you feel like you're, you're capable and you've got this when you've got the support of your family and friends so yeah she orders from me pretty much weekly at the minute because she has a bit of a bracelet addiction so yeah i uh i include freebies and then that's her little bag and then this actually came through this morning this is a oh i love this this is purple lapidolite look at how beautiful it's either purple mica or lapidolite that's they're the two names for it it's the same same stone um it's really beautiful i love how like some stones are almost white like that one is like almost white and that one is so dark it's almost black but it is actually purple like how beautiful is that it's so nice and lipidolite is actually really good for stress and anxiety it's really lovely as well like the quality of this bead it was really nice and that is going out with a little bag of chips and tumbles and then finally is the one from facebook which was custom ordered is this blue lace agate anklet 
you can't quite see because it's reflecting a little bit but it is blue lace agate beautiful beautiful beads these beads were quite expensive um but yeah she wanted a i can do anklets in different styles i don't actually have any anklets on my etsy at the minute uh all the anklets that i've done so far have actually been custom made but i have done quite a few um but they all need to be measured obviously an anklet i'm not just going to make up um and send out it needs to be measured but yeah i absolutely adore those they're so nice oh you can't see the ones on the back because of the sticker so yeah they're all the ones that i am just about to pack up and send off and then like i said earlier there's no ebay to go today um but i am going to sit and list more ebay stuff well yeah do more listings on ebay because nothing's gone live yet i've just been drafting so far but yeah if you are interested in any kind of jewelry then just message me on instagram my instagram for my jewelry is linked down below like i said i can do customs um we can just message back and forth until we come up with some kind of idea or maybe you have an idea or if you see something on my etsy that you like the look of but maybe you want it in a different color a different material or you just want it tweaked a little bit maybe there's some part of it that you're not quite keen on or maybe you just want it messed about with and you've got an idea in your head message me hit me up we can discuss it um did i just say hit me up what am i who am i um but yeah you can just message me and i can play about with ideas um also if you like the look of anything on there but you're not sure on sizing like i do all my bracelets at a set size but that's not like it doesn't have to be set in stone i mean all my bracelets are i mean it's hard to tell the size but these are 17 centimeters these come in at 17 to 18 centimeters if you need it bigger or smaller just message me like if you order it um you can message me before or after ordering you can leave a note when you order it and just say can i have this like so and so centimeters and i can just remake it it's not an issue at all and that's complimentary when you order something as well um and the same with necklace chains obviously if it's on a black cord chain i can't adjust that they're 45 centimeters because i buy them as they are um like the wax cord but the chains like the actual let me show this, this one on the stainless steel chains on these ones stay still um i make these ones myself so i i measure them out and add the clasps i don't buy these as are i just buy a big length of stainless steel chain and then make them i measure them so you can have these whatever length you want if they're on this kind of chain this one is blue fluorite quite like this one um but yeah you can have them whatever length so just message me if you need any of it adjusting it is not a problem so yeah now i am going to get on with some ebay work i really need to get rid of them flowers in the background i just don't want to not have flowers on my desk to be honest with you i quite like having flowers on my desk but it's not really a good sign to have the uh, dead flowers on your desk is it so oh that is cute don't want to keep that for myself though this one is listed, but I absolutely love fluorite. So maybe I want to keep that. Maybe it'd look nice on a bit of a longer chain. Oh, that is pretty. Sometimes the simpler wrapped ones are the nicest. Anyway, I'm waffling now. I'm going to get on with packing those up and then get some eBay work done. And... I might see you at some point later today or possibly tomorrow. I don't know. You'll know in like about two seconds. I could hear my son singing in the background, having a great time. My husband ordered me a surprise gift and it's just arrived. And it was 37 pieces of nose jewellery. 
I've been looking for a nose ring. He's still singing. I've been looking for a nose ring for ages that fits me properly because I keep, <laughs> I keep ripping mine out in my sleep and I've had such a palaver with it. And then I bought one the other day and it broke, like the little gem fell out of it. So he bought them me as a surprise and I've only been wearing studs. I wasn't sure if a ring would suit my face because my nose is like quite small and like bulbous and I, I've got a little round bulbous nose but what do you think what's your opinion on the ring does it suit me or not should I keep a stud in or should I stay with the ring I might not keep the gold one I might change it it's one of the ones with the ball on but I couldn't quite, I don't know if you can see, I couldn't quite get it closed. So I've just twisted, twisted the ball inside. So it's just a plain one. But yeah, what do you think? I've got silver, I've got black. The black one does look pretty cool, I won't lie. I might change this, I might have a black one. Um, And then there's like uh, oil slick. There's loads of different colours and then there's loads of studs as well. So I might just stick to a stud, but I thought I'd try the ring out. But yeah, I'm not sure if it suits my nose. It was really easy to get in, actually. I was really worried. I've had a bit of a bad experience with getting nose piercings in. I went to a certain shop. I'm not going to name in shame because the woman herself was lovely. So I don't want to give the certain shop a bad reputation. Um, and they're not meant to put piercings in for you like they're not meant to put jewelry in for you um but she saw me with my go in with my little cane and i said i was a bit worried about putting it in because it had fallen out in my sleep and she did put it in for me and i almost passed out in the shop because it was that painful and i thought i was gonna vomit it was awful it was so bad and she still didn't even get the jewelry all the way in I had to, it was half hanging out and I had to go and finish it at home. It was the worst experience. She was lovely. It wasn't her fault. It had healed over because I'd lost the piercing in my sleep. So it healed over overnight. But yeah, what what do you think to the ring? Yes or no? Does it suit me? Does it look silly on my nose? Should I stick to a stud? Let me know in the comments. Because I am unsure. My husband prefers the ring. He's not really a piercing kind of guy. But he prefers the ring because he says if I've got it pierced, I might as well look like I've got it pierced. Um, but I am unsure. I don't know whether the stud suits me better. But yeah, let me know. Hello. It is Saturday. Um, I didn't film anything else yesterday. And it is now like lunchtime on Saturday. Excuse the state of me. I've just got out of the shower. Um, and now I've got to get ready to go to my son's birthday party because he turned 13 on Thursday which I think I did already share earlier on in the vlog but like a teenager, come on so yeah, I'm probably going to end the vlog here to be fair um, I am just dyeing my eyebrows <laughs> so I thought I'd quickly sit in front of the uh, camera you can probably hear my kids in the background. I use, if you're interested, which you're probably not, to dye my eyebrows. The Eyelure, what is it? Dye Brow. This is a twin pack. Don't usually buy a twin pack, but that's all they had. Because I bought this on for my wedding day. <laughs> to, dye, to be fair, I probably shouldn't be dyeing my own eyebrows anymore. Because I can barely draw them on. I can barely see to draw them on anymore but I just wing it and hope for the best because really who gives a shit if my eyebrows look like slugs it doesn't affect anybody so it doesn't really matter does it um yeah so anyway I'm going to mix it up if you've not seen how uh, you do this squeeze a little bit 
of this stuff into the little dish that they provide and then a few drops of this stuff i've probably done way too much and then you mix it and it's a pain in the butt to mix it you mix it and then apply it to your lashes and it, they've changed the formula so it now is like uber strong um but you used to have to sit there for like 15 minutes with it on your eyes now it's just like a couple of minutes each eye and then bam they're done but it makes my life a little bit easier because like i said i don't i struggle to draw them on and to draw i've got as you can see very fair eyebrows um so my face always looks really weird when i don't draw them on but i don't really do makeup anymore um i'm gonna do some today because obviously it's my son's party so sorry got an itch but i don't always do makeup like for every day now i don't bother because i've got to that point where i'm like i've accepted who i am <laughs> i've accepted me and my face and quite frankly i can't see my face in great detail anymore so i don't really sit there in the mirror anymore and pick up my flaws whereas i used to be awful for picking up my flaws so if you are that kind of person that sits there and picks at your flaws and hates who you are and is constantly bringing yourself down don't look in the mirror like i probably only look in a mirror a few times a week now because i don't do my makeup and i i don't rely on my sight as much as i used to so i don't really use mirrors as much the only time i use them is when i'm doing my makeup or i'm plucking my eyebrows like i don't use them to wash my face anymore brush my teeth anymore i do it all without so yeah if you are that kind of person that is constantly picking fault with themselves stop looking in mirrors you don't need to constantly look at yourself and pick fault with yourself i'm so much happier with myself and my body image now that i can't really see it um because it's just nicer knowing that i, I just don't care frankly anyway after that ted talk that is now mixed in and it's turn into like a cream they give you this brush with it but quite frankly i find that this brush great for brushing your eyebrows up i am using my phone to oh i've just dropped that wonderful um i'm using my phone as my mirror because i actually find it funnily enough i find it better looking in my phone than a mirror i find i can see better um but yeah i use just a little angled brush um i find it, it applies a little easier for me and then i'll just stick it on but yeah for the rest of the weekend this morning all you missed was uh i didn't bother vlogging it because all i've done it's about lunchtime now and all i've done really is sit i woke up really late my little boy decided he wanted to come and get into bed with us at like 5am because he had a bad dream um but yeah all i did really was do some listings some measurings and some listings i can't really see what i'm doing maybe i should get a mirror so that I can see close up oh it's right next to me <laughs> and just use it to uh see close up um yeah, so I've just done a little bit of listing. Uh, for the rest of the day yesterday, I didn't really do anything, to be honest with you. I did, I made some jewellery pieces. I made some sunshines, some pretty little sunshines. I will insert a picture here because I can't bother to get up and go and show you. <laughs> so there'll be a picture on the screen of the little sunshines that I made last night. They're very very cute i was quite happy with them to be honest uh and yeah the rest of the day i'm just gonna go to this party <laughs> that starts to be fair in a few hours so i've got plenty of time so i'm probably gonna get some more ebay listings done before then um but i do have two little ones to get ready as well two little ones that need sh showering washing dressing so i will get that done too I've got no idea if I'm doing a good job here, but does anyone really care? No. So yeah, a party full of lots of teenage boys running around squealing. 
Can't wait. Cannot wait. And then tomorrow, I'm not going to bother filming tomorrow because I've got absolutely zero plans. Um, so yeah, I'm just probably just going to end the vlog here. If you are, if you liked the vlog style video, do let me know. I never, I never vlog because obviously my channel is about reselling, but I don't really do a whole lot of reselling anymore. Like I do resell and it is my job, but it's not my life. Um, so when I'm vlogging, there's only going to be like a minimal amount of it that is actually reselling related. And then the rest of it is just me and... Oh, I think I messed that up. <laughs> Me and what I do with my day and my family. And obviously a lot of it is the jewellery stuff because I spend a lot of time doing that. And do you know what I mean? It's not all... Oh, nearly pulled that down then. It's not all... I'm just looking over here in my magnified mirror. It's not all eBay or reselling. So I don't know whether people would actually be interested in it. So I don't vlog. However, I do really like watching other people's vlogs. Like, I really like watching other vlogs. So, if you do enjoy vlogs, and you like the vlogs that I do, just let me know so that I can continue to do them. Because I like filming them. I like editing them. Because I like having something to look back on as well. Like, it's a good way of filming and keeping memories that aren't just work related so yeah let me know if you're interested in me keeping up vlog content i can hear my kids whispering outside the door i told them to be quiet out there whilst i was uh filming bless their little hearts <laughs> um so yeah if you want more if you want more, i'm just listening to them if you want more vlog content please just let me know because i'm more than happy to upload like a vlog a week or something um maybe every two weeks because my life is quite boring <laughs> but i would happily do that i just need to know whether people would watch it because obviously vlogs take a little while to film and edit a lot longer than uh sorry concentration a lot longer than um a whole video <laughs> or a sales video but I do really enjoy doing them and I like being able to sit down and chat with you rather than it just being like all work. I like that it's a bit more personal and it's almost like sitting and chatting with my friends. And I like that. I think it's nicer. I like that little personal aspect to it rather than it being very robotic and here's another clothing haul. Because I love doing clothing hauls, don't get me wrong, because I love charity shopping. And I love watching clothing hauls, so I love doing them. But I also want a little bit more. I want to put a little bit more on my channel, and I don't really know what to put on my channel. So if you have any ideas for videos as well, like let me know. Let me know. I would be very interested. I also want to get my husband on the channel, but I don't know how to. I would love to get him on the channel. I'd love to introduce him properly. So, any ideas on how I can do that? Obviously, you've seen snippets of him. But he's now a big part of this business. So, I want to include him in my videos a little bit more. So, I'd love to get him on the channel. So, if there's any kind of video ideas that you've got that I could involve him in, like include him in, let me know. Because I'd love to drag him in. Other than that, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I uh, I could just sit and waffle to you for like half an hour and that's not what you want. And plus, this eyebrow has probably been on like long enough and I need to get this one on. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and hanging around with me. If you Like I said, if you did enjoy it, give me some feedback. Give me some feedback on what kind of things you are after. Um, and yeah, I'm so close to 2,000 subscribers as well. So... If you haven't subscribed but you watch my channel not often but like if you if you if you watch my channel every now and again please consider subscribing because i'm so close to hitting 2k and i'd be so happy to hit 2000 it'd be so nice 
I have been doing YouTube now for a couple of years and to hit 2,000 subscribers would mean so much. Now I'm getting all gooey and soppy and this eyebrow is going to be like a black slug if I leave it on. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.